Hello everyone, it's me, Rhea Peterson. Welcome back to my channel. Today is just get rid of it day. I have found piles of donations throughout my house that I have like taken the time to gather and not taken the time to actually get rid of them. So that's like priority number one today. And then we are going to tackle the playroom. I can't live like this anymore. <laughs> The system that we have is not working. The plastic bins are all breaking, so we are going to fix all of it. Look at the couch. Why? Because it's an adventure. So that's what is happening today. We are going to gather up all of the donations. I have a big pile on the landing upstairs. I have like a shame pile in my garage. We're gonna do that. We're gonna get everything gathered up, put it in the car, Take it to the donation place, stop at Target, oh no, get some bins and fix my life because this is a mess and I'm dying inside. Also, Alice, bless your sweet little heart, thought she was Tarzan, curtain rod's broken. So we're gonna get a new curtain rod as well. So buckle up everyone, we're getting rid of everything today, all of it. So. Stay tuned for that. I'm so glad that you are here. Make sure to check the description box. My giveaway is still going on. You still have a chance, but we're down to like one week left before I announce the winner. It might be more than that. I'll put right down here how many there actually is. March 17th is the day. This is getting long. I'm so sorry. I hope you have not left yet. If you're new here, I hope so much that you'll subscribe. Otherwise, everybody, let's, let's get it all done today. So I'm gonna get it all cleaned up, pull out any other donations I can find, and maybe make some piles for different bins. I don't know. Oh, I hate it. Okay, I know I need to get rid of a lot of it. That would solve a lot of problems. But I also know myself. What is that? I also need to get more carpet cleaning solution. To the moon and back, we had a love like that. Why do I feel like that's slowly fading? We used to be friends, that was way back when. You and I, we were a slow burn baby. Oh, we well, normally I would encourage my kids to come help me do this, but honestly, I was very grateful to be left alone in this. I didn't have to redirect anybody but myself, and I was trying to kind of get a feel for all of the different categories, refresh my brain a little bit, get an idea of what is needed, and if I'm being honest, mom just kind of gets it done faster. So I was just determined to be done. My goal was to just get rid of things. I am really great at gathering the do donations, but I'm really bad about taking them to get rid of them. And Connor always says, just throw it in my trunk and I'll drop it off on my way to work or on my way home, but I'll forget and he'll forget. And they just pile up in the garage. So I have the big pile there. I have a pile in the garage and we have like old bedroom furniture that's not good anymore. Like it's very, it's too broken to the point where I could not in good conscience give it away to somebody even that needs to go to the dump. So I just set the goal, just get rid of it. We're getting rid of the donations. We're taking a load to the dump. This did take me two days. I ended up with a sick kid, which was really unfortunate. It wasn't the GI bug that we're all living in fear of here in Oregon, but it was an, a respiratory thing. And so just kind of dealing with that, trying not to overdo it, keep the kids chill, but also like I am determined. We're gonna get everything out of the house. Very exciting. 
and I'm very glad now future Rhea to be done with it. Um, but let me know in the comments, what organizing do you have to do? Are you good at getting rid of stuff? Is it hard to let it go? I'm not wishy-washy about it. It's just the logistics of it that I struggle with, but I know that sometimes it's just hard to get rid of things, especially stuff associated with like your kids or memories. It can be so hard, but I'm gonna maybe motivate you to let go of a few of those things. So I'm gonna finish cleaning this all up. We're gonna circle back and let me know again in the comments, what are you working on? What do you need to get rid of? Let's get it done. Okay, so it's kind of organized. I've got like big things, all of their like spy equipment as they call it. And just kind of random things sectioned off a little bit. We've gathered quite the amount of Nerf guns. It's one of Callum's favorite things to buy with his money that he earns. Um, so I know I wanna do something for those. Um, so I'm thinking the geo tracks, I'm going to move up because they don't play with those that often. And then I'm just going to kind of put a time limit on it, give it a couple months. And if they haven't been played with, they will move on to a new home. But then I want to get some bins for up here, some bigger guys, um, and down here. So I think I have a plan for that. And over here, I think I'm gonna just get rid of the books in here because they just end up being like random reject books. Although Alice was playing library <laughs> the other day. That's why they're everywhere. Um, but I do have some baskets I can stick here for little things like her little people and stuff. So that's the plan. I'm gonna gather up the donations, get them in the car. I did pull like one thing from in here, but we did just kind of go through everything. And I'm just gonna put time limits on a couple of things that we can get rid of. Otherwise, like there's a reason why most of this stuff was dumped out was because they were actively playing with it. Um, we just have trouble cleaning up after ourselves. So let's go gather up the donations, get them in the trunk and head to Target. And open my heart like you're fearless. Steal all the gold you can get, you can get. Show me your love and leave me breathless, breathless Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be sad Here's my shame pile. This is all stuff I have pulled over like months that have just, it's just sad out here. So we're gonna get it in the trunk. It'll be so good. I do need to list like Alice's old high chair and the double stroller we don't use anymore. That stuff I'm gonna try and sell. I need to find a recycling thing for this. And just like her little training potty thing. Gotta find a home for. But otherwise, like pretty much all of this out of here. And it's gonna really open up 
the gym space that also needs to be cleaned, but we're gonna save that for another day. So fast, baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe. And right away, I so much time looping in the blurry lights. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got the system, my favorite things. You could be the puppet. Okay, we are on day two of, of all of this. Um, I ended up with a sick kid, so that kind of cramped the day, but I did a Target order, picked that up today. I did a trip to the dump, got rid of a bunch of stuff, cleared out some areas. I didn't show you that though because it was I was focused in on it, but I've done tons of donations and I have gone to the dump, so We've cleared out a lot of areas of my house, but we are back into the playroom. I've gone to Target, I picked it up. I'm gonna show you what I got. And the sooner I finish this project, the better because they're starting to take it all apart again out of the piles that I made, which I couldn't expect them not to. So let me show you what I got. Okay, so I got these big bins. I'm hoping I can fit all of the Geotrax and the Tubies in these. I got two of them. And then I got more of the felt bright room bins like I got for the kids costumes in the boys closet. I got three of those for some of the bigger toys. And then I grabbed these baskets. These were really affordable. I got four of these for things either in the closet or on the cubbies. I'm not sure yet. I did get a new curtain rod. I'm hoping that the hardware is similar so that I can just do it. If not, I might need Connor's help. I'm not confident with that. This could be an opportunity for me to gain knowledge, uh, but I have enough to do. So I'm probably going to pass the buck to my lovely husband. These I bought a while ago with the intention of probably using in the playroom. These were from the dollar spot at Target. They were $5 each. Um, so I grabbed four of those. And then these were also from the dollar spot at Target and were actually a dollar. They are like labels, dry erase labels, which I thought was really handy. Um, so that's it. That's what we're gonna be using. I'm gonna try to make it work in here. The big plastic bins that I got are gonna go in on the top because it's stuff that the kids don't play with as often that they need uh, help with. So I am going to start with trying to fit the Geotrax and the Tubies into these two big bins fingers crossed they'll fit the kids actually pillaged the halloween blankets and callum has built this is what the two bees are for uh so they did finally not just use them for swords but he did kind of plead with me not to take it apart and so i'm not going to i'm just gonna find all the stragglers and put those in the bin and we'll get the general idea but that's it. Let's get started on that after we say hi to Harley. Hi to Harley. You take my love for granted. Say a bunch of stuff you never mean, yeah.
I was very happy with how all three baskets fit across the bottom and then remembered that Alice has her little people Barbie house that still needs to go in the closet. In hindsight, I probably could have just left it out somewhere in the playroom, but old habits and I'm very much a let's put it away so I can't see it person. Oh well, but we'll, we figured it out. We're gonna get all of the Geotrax. I was so glad we could fit everything in this one bin, which was really great. Cause as you could see, like the big green hill pieces, I never could fit in. And then there's the train station that wouldn't fit. So I was so glad that I could just consolidate it all into one bin. I was super happy about that. Getting closer to just being nothing else uh -huh. I'm a sucker for your love Okay, so preliminary, like I can get the geo trucks up and down from here. They're heavy, but like I've messed with it. I don't see it falling down, <laughs> but we will have to set some boundaries on these. Just like let mom know and I'll get them down for you. Cause they don't play with them enough for them to be down and they just keep breaking all the clips off of the bins and not using them. So I want them up out of the way and I am gonna, I'm gonna put a time limit on it. If these haven't been used probably by June, I'm gonna unload them and I'm just gonna put a reminder in my calendar. So it just says Geotrax check-in and I set it for June 1st, which is a Saturday. And that gives us about three months to decide on whether or not we're gonna keep them. And I should probably do that with more stuff in here, but for now, we're just gonna start with the Geotrax, see how that goes. Is it Geotrax? No, it's Trax, Geotrax. Okay, but I think I'm gonna have a designated like Nerf gun bin. Alice will have like her little people and her bluey characters in baskets. And then down here, I'm just gonna distribute uh, the rest of everything, so <laughs> we'll see. I didn't purge much, but like with the Geotrax reminder, we'll see how that goes. And then we'll probably just start putting time limits on other things that aren't played with a lot. I know the Duplos are less and less interesting as they get older and into like the real Legos, but Alice is like right on that line still. So uh, probably like come January next year, like we'll give the Duplos another year and then it's probably time to move on from those. Oh, how do you get rid of all your kids' toys? Do you just do it? Do you just get rid of it? That's hard for me. Okay, let's start putting stuff in baskets. When you were leaving, I need you even more than I did before. You had the last word when you walked out the door. You drive me crazy, I want you to stay.
leave those up there for now. I don't really have a better solution. I've got their train tracks, all of the little things that they play with all the time. They always choose the smallest, most fiddly things as their frequent <laughs> flyers. All of Alice's little people and then her bluey stuff. And then just, this is all Alice right here. She's got her little people Barbie house and her bluey house. I think we're growing out of that soon. So hopefully she'll enjoy it for a little longer. Ooh, it's hard when they grow out of stuff. We've got all the Nerf in here. And then down here, it's just kind of the bigger toys, things like that. But it's mostly just there's more spots to put things and hopefully it'll not get as hectic. But the biggest thing is hopefully all the bins won't break. But while I was doing that, I kind of got ahead of myself here. I'm gonna try this out. I had this basket, so I just put a couple of their books in here. Um, we'll see if it stays, but what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these brown baskets and there's four cubes here so I think I'm gonna just kind of take what is usually in these guys and put them in there instead because I don't have four of those <laughs> so we're gonna move those around see how it goes but maybe it'll be better I don't know I don't know I'm full of regret at this point just all total regret you have the time of your life every single night the confetti's raining down you put your hands to the sky, center of the crowd, you're the talk of the town. And I tell myself I don't want that, what glitters sink gold. I tell myself I don't need it, cause I'm fine on my own. But I hate being on the outside, looking through a window. I say I don't want it, but I'm so full of it. I wanna be the life of the party I wanna dance with somebody Be ooh, 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 ooh. I wanna be the life of the party I wanna hold on to somebody Be ooh, 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 ooh. Living your life through a lens Perfect pretending You think no one can tell So here are all of the bins that I emptied out. What I'm gonna do with at least one of the bins is label it donations and then keep it in the garage. And once the bin is full, then we need to run donations. I wish I had a slightly bigger bin, but I might as well make use of it while I have it for as long as it lasts. These did not last very well. They broke really easily. But I have all of these empty ones. I'm gonna put this in my storage because I'll definitely find a use for those. And then just the rest of it here. And then this is all just like garbage that we can throw out, just broken tiny toys and stuff that couldn't be donated. But we've accomplished a lot. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so we have all the puppets in here. And oh, that includes finger puppets. And then we all, these are called jelly bums. My mother-in-law made them. They actually were on a mobile above Hugo's crib. Like they just looped in and kind of hung there, but they're just so cute. She is so talented at knitting and crochet. I can't part with these. Uh, so we've got those in there. I didn't put all of the finger puppets with the puppet puppets. Oops. We'll go through and do that later, but that's what's in there. In here is fidgets. And then over here is the boogie boards. The coloring ones, so those will be easier to find. They're actually, some of them are actually currently in use, and I'll go through and take tags off, but sometimes you gotta get a feel for it. What if I don't wanna keep them forever? But there's that, and then the books will stay there for a little bit too. I think I'm gonna attempt to tackle the curtain rod, but other than that, we just need to vacuum up all of the floor. There's stuff everywhere, and then carpet clean that one spot there which I did investigate, it is a uh, granola bar. Um, and I'm not gonna ask any more questions other than that.
So it looks like it's the same, which is awesome. So I am going to just take down the old hardware, put in the new, none of the screws are stripped. It's just that uh, this got bent enough times that it broke. So as long as the screws aren't smaller than what I'm currently working with, we're good. Otherwise I might be able to just swap them out. I don't know, I'm not a handy person. This isn't things, this, I don't, this is my maiden voyage. I have never hung a curtain rod before. I don't know what that says about me, but I've just never had to. So we're learning together. It's not a big thing, but it's also a big thing. Like I've never done this. I'm excited and nervous. It's a curtain rod, Rhea, get it together. Okay, let's do it. As much as I wanted this to be like feminism and hanging this curtain rod, all of the batteries for the drill are dead. Um, so I'm gonna have to wait on that. I will show you what they look like later because now I'm just mad at the drill um, and the batteries and the situation because why weren't any of the other batteries charging? I don't know. So we're gonna table that and clean the carpet because I know for a fact that the carpet cleaner will work because it works off of an outlet. So I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Oh, I'm not mad. It's just a curtain rod. I'm kind of mad. Okay, let's clean the carpets. At the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy Well, it took like four drill batteries because all of them were at varying levels of charge, but we managed to get the curtain rod up. And when I say we, I mean Connor. He ended up needing to do it. There were some metal plates in spots, so we had to adjust where all of the hardware went, and he's an engineer, so he was able to wrap his head around that a lot faster than I was. I was a music major, so there you go. But the curtains are hung. I will show you that in a minute. I found a few more spots to clean on the carpet, but we got it all done. The room looks great. It is far more organized. I've noticed even when the kids play, it is less chaotic because there's just something about freshly organized things that makes you respect it more. I don't know, but I know in time it'll get a little bit chaotic and we'll have to go through and purge and rework things. That's just how it goes. It's never kind of a one and done thing. Kids grow and change, but it is so nice and it feels so good to be done. I hope that you found this motivating. I hope that you are able to just get rid of it. Just let it go. 
It felt so good. I have more space in my house and I have new areas that need to be cleaned because of it, but it just feels really nice to get rid of things, get things organized. I so appreciate your time. I hope that you are doing well. If you're not already, please consider subscribing. I would so love to continue to share my videos with you. I hope you're having a great day. I will see you next time. Bye.